Why do we need reparations for Black Americans? Well, we need reparations because there's no way to close the Black-white racial gap unless there's a stimulus of some sort of cash. Um, and it's really not stimulus. We're owed this money um, because of past federal policy, past state policy, Rob black Americans opportunities to build wealth. Um, and this had a negative impact on economic and social outcomes um, in our communities that we see and live with every day. And so if we really want to, one, repair um, the damage that's been caused and um, create a plan moving forward to help black and brown communities, um, we really do need a reparations package. Let me just ask you, um, we've been hearing a lot about it more so lately, different uh, municipalities are in, in instituting some of their own programs, I would say. Um, but it is a very long time since, obviously, the beginning of slavery and then the end of slavery. Why? Why now? Well, one, individuals aren't paying um, reparations. The government is. And there's never a wrong time to undo some of the damage. And the damage is still with us. We see a racial wealth divide where um, for every um, dollar um, that of wealth for black Americans, we see $13 for white Americans. That translates into um, more businesses, more um, college education, um, more longevity, more protection. And so if we really want to level the playing field, you've got to repair some of that damage that is ongoing. Um, just a few, this, this last year, when businesses were, were forced to shutter because of COVID uh, requirements, we asked federal and state officials to make those businesses whole. You can call that reparations, you can call it relief, you can call it what you want, but the government's responded. But what does it look like when you have generations of people that's been socially distanced um, over time? There still needs to be relief, there still needs to be recovery. And so that's what reparations is. Um, and by the way, we, we have provided reparations for many groups, Native Americans, um, the Asian Americans in turn, um, and, and during World War, World War II, you also have 9-11 um, victims that receive reparations. Um, it's only when it comes to Black Americans do we um, uh, question whether or not it should happen, but it's past time we had some kind of reparations package. Okay, well, let me ask you about the fact that California's task force meets for the first time today. Um, what does it mean that a state is taking this on? Well, remember, states also participated in, in um, damaging African-American wealth um, distribution. So many of the housing policies actually fall under state and local jurisdictions. This is why many of the reparations packages that you will find in states have to do with land distribution, have to do with home and home values. And so um, a lot of housing work that can be done at the state and local levels um, uh, will be done. And so um, if there's um, extra money in the budget, we should figure out ways to um, really make communities whole. Um, because for every, every time we miss an opportunity to um, correct the wrongs, when there's a pandemic, when there's a housing crash, when there's a tech crash, um, guess who are the, the folks who have the hardest time recovering? The people who were injured by past discrimination. And so if we wanna pre pre prevent when the next epidemic will hit black and brown people harder, then we need to solve for the anti-black racism that um, was embedded in state and local and federal policy. The, uh, the next question that we hear a lot is, how is this even possible? Like, how can this be achieved? Yeah, I mean, it, it can be achieved the same way we provide relief to businesses during the pandemic. You provide um, programs that provide subsidies to the, the, to the parties that were injured. Um, in, in the case of housing, we know who lived in red line neighborhoods. We know the descendants. We even have enough, a lot of technology to see who's a descendant of the enslaved here. So whether you're talking about slavery, reparations for slavery, reparations for housing discrimination, reparations for, um, by, for the Federal Highway Administration that pulled over Black neighborhoods, um, we, we can find the people who were injured 
and we can make it happen. And budgetarily, we've also seen that there's not that this threat of inflation that comes with providing large sums of cash to people really is unwarranted. Um, we've seen trillions of dollars poured in the economy without a, the boogeyman of, of, of inflation coming down hard. And so um, this can be done. We do it. It's just that when we talk about um, creating a spending package for people injured by racism, we lose sort of con uh, uh, our, 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 our good sense. We say, oh, this is discrimination versus discrimination. Who will pay for this? But when it comes to any other forms of injury that the federal government um, addresses, we just take it in stride. Okay, and we have a, a local um, politician here who characterized this as dredging up the past um, and also saying that the concept of reparation actually tears the country apart. What would you say to that? Well, um, racism literally tore the country apart. Remember, segregation separated people, that housing discrimination kept people, uh, Black people from owning property and developing wealth. Uh, criminal bias, criminal uh, policing, criminal justice um, and policing systems kept families apart. Let's be real, that, that, that there are real policies that's, that are dividing the country and we must address them. So to deflect and say that solutions are, are problematic really is to abdicate our responsibility for dealing with the racism that continuously hurts Black Americans. And obviously today is also a historic day in the sense that it uh, is the anniversary of the Tulsa massacre. What does it mean that that it, today is the 100 year anniversary and the fact that California is discussing um, reparations on this day? Oh, it's an it's a, a important day for so many black Americans and for the country as a whole. This was a day that um, um, 300 people were killed that we, we know of, um, that, that's unclear, but we know 300 people were killed in this uh, massacre where white vigilantes, mob, mobs, essentially ransacked and burned down, bombed a community, the uh, commercial corridor and community that was thriving. And we, but we've seen this not just in Tulsa, we've seen this in Birmingham, um, we've seen this in Ro Rosewood um, in Florida, we've seen this in a number of places. It's just that the Black Wall Street Tulsa um, was the most um, dramatic. Um, and so um, it, it was the same way that government supported the, the bombing of towns, the the, the hurt of, of Black Americans, we can support policies that uplift them. And so uh, I think this is just an important day for many people, and it's an important day to educate the public about what happened. We should have learned about Black Wall Street in Tulsa in elementary school. We should have learned about the ills of slavery in school. We should have learned about on um, these hor uh, horrific things, then this issue of reparations wouldn't be a problem because if you knew the damage that is still um, um, burdening Black uh, families, then um, this would be just a small effort um, in the grand scheme of things. And what do you think? Can we get there? Can we achieve reparations? Oh yeah, the, because I believe just as we built a culture around exclusivity and segregation. We can build a culture and share prosperity and inclusion. Um, it's really a mindset and, and people need to really let go of, of our segregated lifestyles and see the possibilities when the economy can thrive um, at a higher level, when everyone's participating and, and that we're not throttling people simply because they're black. Um, of those people who were um, forced from their homes, their families that were separated from their parents. They lost wealth for generations. It's time to restore. It's time to make whole. And it's time to prevent these tragedies moving forward. 